What's going on, Spit and Chicklets fans? You know the drill. This interview is brought to you by No Days Wasted, the creators of DHM Detox, the vitamin for people that drink. DHM Detox is a recovery formula with a blend of natural ingredients, vitamins, and electrolytes that help you bounce back after drinking alcohol. Forget the next day nausea, brain fog, and anxiety. It's time to be smart and responsible about when you drink and DHM Detox is your go-to drinking buddy that helps boost your body's natural response to drinking. It's risk-free purchase, so if you don't love it, they'll give you your money back. And as a bonus, here's a sneak peek at their Rapid Immunity Hydration product that is coming soon. Sign up for the email updates at nodayswastedco.com to stay in the loop. They're focused on creating functional, science-backed products that help you be your best. Also, I can't forget, No Days Wasted has also donated $10,000 to the ECHL Player Relief Fund, and they're offering 20% off your order of DHM Detox using the Biz20 promo code. Just head over to their website at nodayswastedco.com for No Days Wasted After Drinking. Now, enjoy the interview. All right, our next guest, I'm uh honored to bring in this is an old pal of mine we've known each other since we were in the womb keith kachuk but you are the proudest dad in the world right now you hear with your two all-star sons brady of the ottawa senators and the impish matthew of the calgary flames how proud are you right now old it's pal? Great. it's awesome bud you know what it's uh and to be able to do this in their hometown where they grew up in the rink they went to see the blues play myself play and it, it's great I'm, I'm i'm happy for them they've earned it even though freddie was uh, a fill-in Matthew, you got voted in. This is what, your first or second All-Star? Yeah, that's my first, yeah. You've been in the news a little bit lately in the NHL. Uh, you no suspension. Well, obviously, you're not going to do any skills competition with those hands. <laughs> <laughs> Talking or Can holding his phone. sense talk right now? <laughs> Well, no. All right. I'll, 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 I was more going to wait to get into that. I first wanted to kind of get into you getting voted in. How did you find out? Like, what was the news there? Because you were coming home anyways, I was told. Yeah. So uh, funny story is actually at uh, Senior Frogs in Nassau. So you were in one when you found out. You get a bonus oh, for yeah. being in the All-Star game? Yeah. Two, two, oh, oh, what a boy. You, oh, I got this I got the bill. Boy. Yeah, I got the bill, guys. He, Check, he won't even split the – he doesn't even want to split the box of mirror. They're sweet with me. I go, 212? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hey, they just got off the ching. family, the Kachuk family gift card, so don't, don't lie, boys. <laughs> you guys have had the full rides uh, since yeah. you were born, but now you're taking care of the fam. That's great. So you got a suite all set up. There'll be, a, what, there has to be at least 50 people coming for you guys. Well, I think the people we know right now, like the family, there's, I think you can fill it up to 20 people in the suite, so we'll have 20 people we know, but um, we got a little party at our place on Saturday, so... We've got a, we've got a good weekend ahead of us, and I probably there's gonna be around fifty people that we know that are gonna be there. Just that we know of. I'm sure we'll Fokkers, see. what could be better? <laughs> <laughs> that smell is our shit, Fokker. Uh, what about events for the the All Star competition? Like you guys um, are you doing? We uh, we are in the same one right now, and uh, we don't really know for sure. Okay, what we're doing, but we have a, we have a good idea of yeah. a decent idea of what we think we're doing. Um, yeah. Kachuk so, versus Kachuk. Kachuk well, kind of like the other night. When you guys the ref- just pounding drinks, racing dad. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Uh, kind of like the other night, you guys had that special moment mm-hmm. where Wes McCauley ended up kicking out the two centermen. You guys could take the draw against each other. I'm pretty sure, Matthew, you gave him a little whack in the, or cross check in the back after you'd snap well, back. I, 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 I told, I told Wes, I, lo- I loved the first year we did it, first game against each other. Never played against them. I loved the uh, the opening draw. I thought that was great. I had zero chance of winning it offside. I'm a winger. Like He's a two-way guy, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I knew I, w- I knew I wasn't going to win it. And so this year I was right wing, he's left wing. So we're standing right next to each other. I, I still think it's great, even though we weren't taking the draw, we're by each other. Like it's awesome. Get a picture. And then Wes yeah. gives the two Put the hands mic up closer, out. Mike closer, buddy. Mike closer. Mike's going to be Wes gives the two hands out, and I, you could see my head go right down. I'm like, fuck, I don't want to do it again. Language. And he goes, he goes, get in. He goes, get in here. Take it against your brother. And he just snapped it back on me. I was so pissed. Oh, I could tell you but gave him the jab. I don't actually it, uh, rode up him a little bit too, a little close to the chin, but it was good. Imagine taking a suspension if you got caught on your brother. <laughs> well, that would have been embarrassing. Not surprised, but that would have been embarrassing. Your mom's like, you lost money and you hurt your brother. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you guys text intel before the game? Do you guys keep in touch a lot on the road? 
Yeah, I think, well, not much when we play one another, but I think, I'm sorry, testing one, two, testing, test, testing one, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah, I, th- I think uh, whenever we have a chance to talk, we, we try our best, but um, no, with a couple uh, news recently, I mean, we talked a lot about that, but uh, just nice catching up and, and seeing what uh, what they're doing, too. Well, Walt, I guess well, I'll well, ask you. Can I, sorry, I'm top in. if I jump in here. Seriously. <laughs> How much fun did you have? You sound like, <laughs> like Messy like Marvin. A little from, Messy Marvin. Dudley Moore from Arthur over here. He's jumping <laughs> up. What's got going here? Uh, My son has marbles in his mouth. <laughs> ah, like whatever. Like how many margaritas you have? Sharpen up. You got a big tilt tomorrow. Sorry, oh no, I was going to ask you as a father. I mean, of course, the, you know the, the headlines and all the news lately. You taught these boys to play a certain way of old school hockey. Is it hard for you to see your kids in the limelight and all of a sudden, you know? They become, I wouldn't say a negative focus yeah. with with everything that went down, but just maybe hearing varying yeah. opinions on. No, it's it. a great question. It's, it's it's difficult, you know. At the end of the day, I'm still their dad, and it's difficult on us to hear, you know, stuff when they play hard and they play maybe on that line. And what the what people don't should know about them is is sad because they're they're skilled, you know, and that gets overlooked because of some of the competitive stuff they do whether it's right or wrong in some people's eyes, but at least I know they're coming to play and they're going to impact the game somehow. Now, stuff happens, you know, and but it, it's difficult to read some of the stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. It's more difficult than my wife because she's she's still a mom and that's their little boys. And if she read it, or even when you read it, you're playing like, I don't give a shit. And yeah. My husband, I don't care. But to see it with your kids, no matter what, no. you don't mm-hmm. care if you consider him wrong. You're like, that's my son you're talking about. Yeah, you know, and I, I do enough of parenting when I'm home with them that, you know, I told them they're, you know, nitwits or idiots. Or my dad, <laughs> I thought my name was Nitwit growing up because that's how my dad called me. So, <laughs> Well, Brady, I got one for you. There was an incident this year uh, against the Philadelphia Flyers where – I assume you thought one of the Flyers guys took a liberty or said something to your bench after a goal, and towards the end of the game, I think it was out of reach, and you just went after him. And you know, it's kind of you know you're trying to set that tone and, and create that culture in Ottawa, and, and maybe run by the situation and how it all went down. Yeah, well, I think you no, know, he scored. Uh, no, sorry, he scored a goal. I think with four minutes left, and as he was kind of going through the train, he you know chirped our bench. So. Uh, I thought that's kind of just disrespectful to you know, us, and um, I think with our team, we we just stick together. And you know, it was twenty something seconds left, and um, maybe could have waited a little bit. But I thought I saw you changing, <laughs> so I'm like it's my time. So that's why they, uh, that's why but, they love but, him there. Though. That's yeah, why but, they love him in Ottawa. But so I, I, but I asked him to go, and and I guess I'm stirring the pot now. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, but he, I guess he didn't want to. But game of cross check, he went down and. He's like, you want to go in? He's like, he didn't say no. He's like, well, that was 0.3 seconds after you asked him. But yeah. you, right now, obviously, like, it, it's a rebuilding time in Ottawa, and I think those are the things that fans see that know that that's what will get the centers to the next level is, like, caring for one another. And you may be beating us, but you're not going to show us up. So I think that's why you are a fan favorite, let alone your skill. But when you watch your brother play, and they're a team that's competing for the Stanley Cup this year, right? You think, Calgary, we can get it done. It must be tough. You're like, all right, I just want to, I want to, I want this team to improve so bad that on some nights it can be tough to deal with, like, the losing. Yeah, I mean, no one likes to lose. Yeah. So, um, no, there's a lot of games that were right there. And then, um, no, just we've gotten so much better even this year. And it's surprised uh, a lot of people. Yeah. So, I think, especially with our group, we have, we have a lot of fun. We got a great crew. And, um, no, we come to the rank every day and, and just have fun. And, um, no, it's been it's been fun, but yeah, it's uh, um, the winning's going to come. But no, I, I feel like we've definitely gotten better. And they've season. got they've got good young players. Like they pounded us the other night. Like they've got good guys that they work hard. They're they're not fun. They're not fun to play against because you go in there and you know they're going to work hard. You know they're really well coached. And Who I love the what hell are you? I love. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's a future <laughs> podcast host. I think. <laughs> this is such an act. <laughs> I, hey, mean? hey! I fucking think he no, knows what he's talking no, about. He, he's never this nice to his brother. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about his team. They're, <laughs> oh. they're, they're, they're gonna be better. Like they work. They have. They're work, they work hard. They're not fun to play against now. So if they get and some guys in the next few years, they could be good. I know they pounded you because I had the Flames that night. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> the Shabbat kid is filthy. Like, he's like going to be just one of those next level D. But I got, I got to ask you, right? We did talk about the news and a crazy night. I talked a lot about how it was so exciting for the game, like the emotion in that game and the Battle of Alberta being back. 
your quote, I think, made a lot of sense to a ton of people, especially Flames fans. Like, I ran him over. He wants to do that. We'll take the power play. We'll take the win. So when you're talking about that, like, to you, it seemed pretty easy. Why would I fight him? Well, well, I, well, I, th- I, th- no, I, th- I think right. that is I that w- fair. No, I just I wish that. Um, I guess the one thing I'll say just about everything is I wish that I didn't say anything in the media. I wish I honestly. I wish I just. Um, I take back maybe not take back, but I just wish I just left. Just play on the ice, you know, do all the talk, and I wish I. Even though that makes bit, you who you are, it's, it's an fucking, emotional game. But but yes. it's it's um we all yeah, love it. It's though. a big in and, and, and <laughs> hey, it's I mean, all about the escrow boys. Hey, it's a show. <laughs> Binning, <laughs> Binnington was here. He goes, "This is a show, our league." But the only thing I uh, I want people to know is we still we're in such a huge race right now. Like in our our division, I've never like it's absolutely insane how there's five teams within one point, all within the same amount of games. Like. Every night's so important, and the one thing I want to tell people is everybody looks. I don't read Twitter, and like I, my mom and dad do, and that's why they get bothered that's by good. everything. Oh, but, up, um, but I He's shaking uh, over there. Yeah, <laughs> but I. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. No, but but what I but I I know I don't. But I think the one thing that I want to tell people is we are in such a big race. Like we have one game against the Blues, the, the, the defending Cup champs. And uh, to today, Junior. But uh, we uh, <laughs> against the, I can't uh, wait to go to high school, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> against the uh, against the defending cup champs, and nobody's talking about that. Only people talk about uh, the um, the rivalry games. But what I want to tell people is, I I we go into each game playing the same way and do whatever it takes to win. So that's what I tell people is you got to do anything in your power to win. And and we're here for a reason. We're we're skilled players and we um you know produce offense for a team and we're um we try, and we try to uh and we try to lead by that. But also there's you guys know there's nights where maybe you don't feel as great and you know maybe you're having not as much puck luck and um you have to play physical as well and I mean I know there's a handful of games every every season where I go in and I'm just like uh yeah. <laughs> no, well, that, well, that's it's one of the quotes that, that I was. Only gonna, these guys would be chirping. <laughs> 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 the whole hockey world <laughs> listening on hand and foot. He's well, just the like quote that stood out to me was the fact that you're you're so self aware and, and the fact and, and such a good team guy. Whereas you said that you said some nights you just don't have it offensively. Where I need to find another way to impact this game, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. do what you do. You draw. You end up drawing that mm-hmm. penalty. And and I said even on the podcast I would want both those guys on my team any day of the week because that's how you have to fucking play in order to win championships and it's been happening the last few years you see a team like St Louis and you witnessed firsthand Walt we bullied is, every team they fucking bullied, bullied. everybody the yeah. game has not fucking changed yeah well let's yeah. Get, let's get back to that I what? think one thing Matt people don't understand too which I don't really care Matthew does things what people don't see is to take pressure off some of the other guys. So if Matthew is going out doing his thing, you know what? The other team is more concerned about him instead of Johnny and Monty and Lindholm, Backlund. And that's the reason why he does it. You know, he does it because he gets himself in the game, and they both do it. Brady's still young. He's still learning the game. And to get back about after you score goals, I hate when guys go on the train. I hate it. <laughs> I never it did it. When did I that never start? did it. And when guys would come down the train, I would take my hand back. I mm-hmm. think it's terrible. When you were in the league, though, that was yeah. going on? Yeah, it started. Oh, so it's been a started. long time. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I, I didn't like it. The coach would get mad at me. But I just don't like when guys skate by the bench. It's just like pretend like you know what you're doing. Do it again. Like pretend you're Act right. like you've been there before yeah, type exactly. of thing. Yeah, I didn't, well, I didn't you know you were going to actually correct me. I thought being one of these. You're not going to sing for us, are you, Sammy? <laughs> uh, going into the psychological aspect of that, being still a young player in the league, d- does that add pressure to you, or do you actually love that, taking that um, attention away from your teammates? I, I, you, I, I'm not attention. Like, I don't care, honestly. But I think what me and Brady both make sure we do is at the end of each day or at the end of each season, you have to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, did you compete and were you a good teammate? And that's what my dad told us since we were early. That's the only two things he said to us growing up. Like he didn't say, you know, shoot the pot or like nothing like that. It was compete and be a good teammate and you'll be all right. And as long as we can look at ourselves and be um, the best teammates possible, we did our job. You're like De Niro and Goodfellas, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty nice by the Godfather. I'd like to ask Brady about a team. He's 20 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to ask you about uh, Anthony Duclair, who's mm-hmm. been having a stellar season. And, and you know, a guy maybe who got rode off by by a lot of teams, and, and I mean the quote from Torts. Tortorella that came out recently. Uh, but just talk about him and the, the year he's having. Well, he's having an unbelievable year, and he, he deserves you know, all the accolades he's getting. And, and being here, he's had Thank you. he's had you no know, such a great start to the year, and, and he's so fun to play with. He's so skilled, and and 
Um, if, if there's a, ever a scrum, he's, he's right in there too. So it's uh, and he's a great guy off the ice as well. And uh, uh, it's, he can uh, wheel. He can wheel. He's yeah, he's jets. What off the ice or on uh, the ice, Walt? Well, I don't know, but off the ice, that's a good one. His heels yeah, wheel. It ain't about exactly. the speed on the skates. <laughs> yeah. uh, I saw a great picture of uh, All Star Game. Big Walls playing, and you guys are sitting on the boards in the in the jersey. One, where was that? And two, I could tell you had the hip flexor stretch going after probably thirty beers. He's going, the, he's going, no, he's going the, the fastest one. skater. <laughs> what, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where was that game? Minnesota. Uh, yeah, that's thank cool. God. Was that the one time that they were all? Or did you make a couple different games? They were yeah. At? Well, that was the first one that they were actually old enough, old enough to do it, and um, just to bring them on the ice was awesome. And then we did it again, and um, I don't know what year, maybe oh nine. Yeah, oh nine. So we were old in oh nine. So we, I, I had no idea where they were half the time they were taking pictures with guys they were down the locker room on the bench and i didn't know where they were in for the three hours dog, like dad there, how'd yeah. you get in this game this year this is unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> they, they didn't give a shit about dad they wanted to go sit next to pat kane and ovechkin and take pictures. we got tons of pictures of all that That's that was cool. one thing my wife said make sure you boys take pictures Brady, I probably see more Senators games than anyone in Boston. As your dad knows, I'm a, I like a game of chance or two. But you guys, I like this because you <laughs> do you play your balls off every night. How much has DJ Smith meant to the team? No, he's been awesome for us. He's you know, kind of changed you know, almost the culture. He's just our, our goal and, and our mindset is just work – Outwork the other team and, and give ourselves a chance and and you know stick together with you know there's been some incidences where you know they've had things haven't gone our way and and you know, we've stuck together and we always persevere and um, I think our mindset is that we're never out of a game and um, we're gonna just keep keep hitting keep keep trying to get yeah. goals and they're, they're to fun to watch yeah, Sorry, but yeah. I'm it's, telling you they are fun. So much fun I players. wish I played with DJ Smith he seems like a really good guy he's he's good at what he does the guys love playing for him they go through a wall for him and. And they're a bunch of guys who are playing for jobs, and they, they come to play every game. You know, sometimes they just get out talented, yeah. but you know what? There were two games under five hundred before that little bit of slide for the last three yeah. weeks. So they've done a good job, and they got some good quality players, good quality people there. Yeah, fun team to watch for sure. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask about uh, about Calgary. Obviously, the coaching change was one thing I want to ask about. You guys do that. You end up going on a, a, a nice little stretch of games there. And then uh, Anderson ends up getting that contract extension. I haven't had the chance to watch him play much. Um, from what I have seen, seems like a solid top four defenseman. Maybe just give people who haven't got a chance to see him play maybe a deeper dive into what he brings to your team. Well, I think he's awesome. I think he's really, really good, and I'm happy for him. This is only, his, I think, his second full season, and he's starting to prove to everybody. He's a guy who can play up and down. Like, we have guys that... Um, you know, or are older and and um, you know, kind of an older decor. I would say, like we have um, Geo Broads and, and Hammer. My age. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's Norris. great. Um, but I think we have a very like veteran uh, decor, and they're all good players. I think we have one of the best decors in the league, in my yeah. opinion. Um, so he can play up with Geo sometimes, which he has parts of this year and then he could play just play up and out he's a power play guy um just such a great puck mover he's got that um he's, he's got that toughness to him too where he doesn't like back down from anybody too and i love that like he's he's right in there all the time he um he loves to chirp and i i love it because he's when he, whenever he's doing that you know he's engaged and you know yeah. he's into it and um he's one of the guys who brings it every night but um great contract for him cha-ching i was happy for <laughs> I him know. and um it kind of caught it, it caught me off guard you know when you hear about like guys um you know they're you hear about it and like from the team the man you know we're close to signing him he's talking about it you know it might be signing extension i knew nothing about it so you just and woke up and i like it. i like oh. like I'm, I'm at home and i just like see on instagram rasmus anderson signs whatever seven year extension six year extension i'm like oh my god and 30 sheets later so we're good and then coming up what july 1st you can start talking or are you I haven't even thought about it okay oh that's a fucking <laughs> player that plays yeah. in canada right there boy. He's still i know it's sand he, coming out of his ears <laughs> Se- senor frog he's like i'm at the all-star game he's man. Puddle I'm hometown here. Here. What kind of, contract? the all-star game doesn't doesn't hurt it though no yeah. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> you, you were known for having a few contract squabbles in your day what kind of advice have you given these guys about such matters you know what uh it's a little different time than yeah when i grew up you can get away with it and yeah. say hey you know What's that quote? That movie quote what from Polly from uh, from um, Goodfellas. You late with the bill? F you, pay yeah, me. Fuck you, pay me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll say so it. Fuck you, you had to have, so uh, you know, I you, probably you didn't handle it the right move. way, but you know, I I just you know roll the dice, put the gun to the head, and you know it probably wasn't the best thing to do, but 
you know, would have probably handled it differently. But nowadays, you know, it's it's a lot different. You have certain criteria where you got to get to, and sometimes, I mean, Matthew is still at home. Matthew should talk about his old Miss trip uh, <laughs> with uh, me, Chantel, and friends of ours. We went down and watched an old Miss football game, but I don't know where oh, it was the going. Grove? <laughs> the Grove. The Grove. Yeah. Midway through what? Campbell. What? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, Midway through yeah, the he hole, went, though. He went through a contract squabble, but, you know, um, everything worked out. And uh, But it's it's hard now. But now it's, you know, these guys are getting paid. The comps yeah, are early. so big now. It's, it's crazy, but there's so much money out there for these guys to make, and you know, I love the way the game, where the game is heading. Um, they're great players, but uh, they're getting it at a lot of younger age compared to when we played. You, yeah. you had to establish yourself until you were late twenties before you got the big, big payday. Yeah, and then they told you you were starting to fucking fade by the time you, yeah. you were starting to get yeah, paid. Yeah, just just keep on rocking, buddy. Keep on, on rocking. Play better. <laughs> on night on nights, these guys are playing. Now, granted, one's on um, Mountain Time in Calgary, but say they're the same time. How do you decide like which one you're watching, or at least which one you got the volume going for? You know what? Oh, we fun, um, funny story with the last time the Leafs. <laughs> what happened when we played uh, same time and the coaches caught you with the old. Watching on the phone. Oh, yeah, Huge glass of red wine. Yeah, so Jack Cabrion loved it the next day. <laughs> I, uh, Brady had a couple bad shifts. I was in the stands in Ottawa, so I'm like, screw this. Matthew's playing. I'll watch him for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just ride the wave. Yeah, no loyalty. Blue line turnover. I'm watching <laughs> no, my other no, kid. At, at home, we have it. You know, we're watching my wife and I, and if they're playing at the same time, one of us will pull out the laptop, and, and whoever's playing better, the team, we'll just flick on that. So. That's perfect. We never talked about uh, Ward uh, stepping in as coach. I think he's done a great job so far. We've G off. We've uh, we've <laughs> done we've done a golf. I thought it was golf. <laughs> golf. Don't try to one up me there, buddy. <laughs> Fuck. Let's go with G off. <laughs> he just didn't have the E in there, but he still wanted to get a word up on you. <laughs> um, we uh, we reacted immediately to it. And the, I think the best way possible it was up. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but it was a weird. It was a weird yeah. time. It was just yeah. weird with everything happening and. Um, just, it's crazy how that was this year. It feels like it was like yeah. that whole process was so long ago. But anyways, um, we came in and when he or when he came in, we we honestly just played started playing simple and like we started off on the road at the end of a long road trip. So we're like, we got to get this win and we got it. And then we came back home for like three or four games, won those, and just I think we pulled off seven or eight in a row. And I think that helps you with a new coach, no matter what the the differences he he had with um with billy but it was a lot of the same things but just having a new mind in there and when you're winning it's so much easier to adjust like you're it's, all boys yeah you're all it's everything's happy and everything's it's, it was such a great uh with a couple tough times or with a couple weeks of tough times it was great to have him come in and have um it's almost uh, like a fresh start it was a fresh but it but it, 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 it was better lettuce no. than you that's why you're pissed <laughs> This he looks great. phenomenal yeah. behind the bench. He, he's yeah. a little guy. G I didn't realize how short he was. Is he? Yeah, nice guy though. I like him. Um, but he, uh, he's he, he's been great, and and our team's been playing well. We put ourselves in a great spot from where we were. We were struggling there for a while, and we were below five hundred a lot, and we were way out of the playoff picture, I think. And now we're one point out of first. I, yeah. I, I look at it like that. We're all right there, but we're one point out of you first. You and Edmonton really. had pretty much opposite like first halves. It was crazy. It was yeah. slow. And then mm. what about like, for, at least for me growing up, I, after my games, I text my dad. Like, are you going to call your dad? Like, is that the same for both you guys? Or yeah. It depends on how we play. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't want to talk to him if I saw it. Yeah, good game. Hey, one play, one right? and one. <laughs> we don't like talk it, right? after games because Matthew's so late. I, I go to bed early, believe yeah, it or not. True. Live. But Brady, Brady, I swear to God, Brady, Brady, you can't talk to him on game day. It's like, really? Yeah, like, Matthew, who are you I'll, kidding? I'll text Matthew, hey, good luck, or I'll call him. He'll answer, hey, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> Brady's he's just nothing. Yeah, Fire same Keith Yandel, too, but game day, won't text, won't call him. Like, dude, I just have, can you leave me the tickets? You said? <laughs> <laughs> Norm, normally, he, he'll he send me a text after my games, and then we'll he'll talk. shut it down, yeah. and then we'll talk the next day. Yeah. But normally, I'd say after 90, 95% of the games, we'll talk the next day, no yeah, matter cool. what it is. I mean, yeah. let alone if your dad played in the NHL or not. It's like, yeah. he's, been, he's been there the whole ride. Mm -hmm. I'm tough with last names. Uh, is it Barakovsky, Robocop, who you guys have, who uh, who ended up uh, with Robo Vancouver? Last. Burrow, 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 Vicky, Burrow whiskey, Burrow whiskey. How do you say his oh. name? Borrow wiki. Oh, Borrow wiki. Borrow cop. Borrow cop. Borrow cop. I still, I still don't know. Bor, Borvieksky. Yeah, something I'm like struggling. That. It's, mm -hmm. it's yeah, Borrow cop. Yeah, what about when he saved that? We're gonna ask him about when he, in Vancouver when he stopped the burglar. 
Vancouver. We, we were at Cactus Club, so we weren't far away. Oh, that's nice. Cactus oh, Club. Oh, yeah. I love that spot. <laughs> and, uh, the best the best, and, and, and best wage You went there the for the game. food, right? <laughs> 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 Good food there. <laughs> <laughs> Moscow Mules dialed in there, too. Sorry. Um, no, it was just, uh, then all of a sudden we get a text at, and he took a picture of the window and so, the passwords. He's like, I stopped a, stopped a robbery. And we're like, did a little double take. We had the day off, so it was the next day we all – Kind of coming in a little sluggish, and we that, mm-hmm. then we got that real story. So it was, uh, so it was pretty funny. And it he's was a tough uh, bastard for a little smaller guy. Like he's tough. He's oh, he can fix every game. Yeah. He's strong. He's, he's real not, strong. He's killed me a couple times already. Like hard, <laughs> hard. Not expect. Not like a heavy oh. open ice either. Just like a little. And you're like, oh my. Like, goes, that did, I didn't think that would hurt that bad. There goes your AC out. or like the wind <laughs> yeah. knocked out of you. Like that was a bump. But yeah. Now, now, one team I, I want to ask about, he's probably not as dominant as he used to be, but he probably feels like having one of those a case of emergency break glass in the lineup is Milan Lucic. Mm-hmm. What does he provide as like leadership at this stage of his career? Well, he's awesome. And with us, uh, we traded for a week to Buffalo um, a couple weeks ago, early January, and now Luch is the only guy who has the experience of winning a cup. Right. I think, unless uh, just off the top <laughs> of my head. But um, he's been on so many crazy runs, and him, the, the era and the lifestyle of the Boston Bruins when he played there, like it's just such a professional team, you know what I mean? And, and having guys like Bergeron and Char, just some of the stuff he talks about, like they were just a well run, and like it was the players kind of. I wouldn't say policed everything, but the players kind of coached everything. Like, they were a player's team and a bunch of older guys, veteran guys. And he just taught, tells great stories about that. But on the ice, he, he's the toughest guy in the NHL, or at least right up yeah. there. And he shows it each night. Nobody really, um, you know, says too, too much with him with him out there. And uh, he's such a great guy, and I'm so happy we got him from Edmonton. I can't believe they let him go for what he provides on and off the ice, to be honest. Um, and he's such a he's such a good dude, and and uh, I'm thankful we have him, and and I'm starting to get to know him. You know, at, after the beginning of the year, you get to know him throughout the year, and he's he's such a beauty. He's well, awesome. We got to ask about Ronaldo as well. They did that the die job, or they kind of like the Bash <laughs> brothers? They hanging yeah. out off the ice together now. Yeah, uh, I actually have zero idea how that came, but I just saw them both the next day, and they both had their hair dyed. I was like, oh, that. That we're, we're doing that <laughs> still better yeah. salad than yeah. you though yeah, way better yeah they, they, they pull out actually funny story I'm doing some great clips like tomorrow me I'm doing a great oh clip you should like, be doing like su- you should be doing like super cuts where you know you're gonna get cannot butchered I believe the money these guys get for being at the all star game ridiculous I, I, how about the, the money if you win yeah what is it each guy 100k 100k or more? So Brady said, if we play each other in the final, he wants to split the pot. She bastard. Oh, oh wow! Head Insider head trade. Head confidence head. in your division, Absolutely bro. Absolutely. Wow. Making huh? up shit here. Oh, again. Phantom story from no, the older bro. Story. Story. He's got. He's got the best story. Like he's got the storybook ending. I think you're in Bahamas on a Wednesday. You get the call. You win it. You win the MVP. We got John Scott Part Two coming in. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Ready, fill in. Uh, now you mentioned that bonus you get from Ottawa for making the All Star uh, game because that's an entry level contract, correct? Or is that for every player? No, just entry level. Entry level. I, uh, not for every player. Entry level. I think it's like a, uh, a bonus, bonus. A high bonus. Yeah, two twelve. Where you get drafted, they have different bonuses. So. Yeah. Okay, so Walt, this one goes to you. Uh, what's the craziest bonus story that you've been around or or heard uh, in your time in the NHL? Oh man, it was. Um, you, the, you always the, told me about that Pavel yes, Dimitri. Pavel right? Dimitri and Scott Young, like Joel Quinville, is by far the best coach. Not even close, the best. And when you're getting towards the end, he would always ask the guys, "All right, let me know who needs what or what." And that's when they used to get bonuses all the time. So I don't know the, exactly what happened, but there was an empty net, and like Scotty Young needed the goal, and Pavel maybe needed the assist, or something like that. Well, what happened was, I think, I don't know if Scotty Young missed. They ended up giving, like, there was so, he was trying to pass the puck to Scotty Young. He wouldn't do it himself. He had the opportunity to shoot, but he wouldn't try to get the puck. And I could be messing up the story, but it was something similar with that, with Scotty Young and Pavel. I think Dimitra. you said Pav needed just a point, right? And he had an empty net right yeah, but, there. Yeah, but so he, he, said, he, like, he, he was trying to get Scotty his Scottie one point, as well. And, and whatever, whatever happened, this would never happen with certain owners. What they did was, so they didn't get it, but they gave each guy half or something like that. And that's pretty cool. But that's pretty that cool, cool with Joel Quinville. Like, all right, who needs, hey, guys, who's up for the bonuses? Yeah, no shit. You huh? know, this yeah. or that. He did Nashers, right? Well, he did yeah. Tyson Nash. Tyson yeah. Nash played like 27 minutes in a National Hockey League game as a which fourth is a liner. Which by the way. <laughs> which, which everybody wanted their Nash money back. <laughs> right I love it. Come on, boy. Yeah, he had to reimburse the fans yeah. for their ticket yeah. prices. Yeah. Oh, man. My, uh, my rookie year, we were terrible. We finished 
thirtieth or twenty ninth in Pittsburgh, and last game of the year against Toronto, they started somebody else. Threw in flurry when we were down three nothing for no reason. He ended up making seventeen saves. It got him a million bucks. So I don't wow. even know if Terry. I'm guessing Terry did know it, but the owners at that time in Pittsburgh, we didn't I mean, remember the ownership. They were probably it was pissed. a million dollars. Like I just remember after guys being like, "Dude, that got flurry save percentage over whatever," and he just made a million. That's great. That's great stuff. It's though. the best. Oh, I love. I love, and that doesn't happen with us anymore. It's just like the entry level guys. Yeah. But my rookie year, they always. I think I needed one assist in the last four games, and guys just kept. That's all that was talking about. We already clinched playoffs, and that's all the guys wanted. I thought that was cool. Did you get it? I did last game. But, oh. but like, the guys cared way or way more about it than like the coaches. Yeah, You guys made a couple bonuses last year. Did you get all four? Uh, yeah, last year was nice. all four, that's yeah. Last you wouldn't year know by the way you're spending. Last <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Didn't get Chuck family gift card. <laughs> no chance. He's split. Well, he he's, split. He's, he's splitting it with me now. Hey, you had two twelve for bro. They didn't need to pay for your shit. You took no. your, your own full ride. Only, only to Anthony's it. late night. Um, I got <laughs> oh, that's right. Be you boys. Oh fuck yeah! My picture's on that wall. <laughs> I got another two parter. Uh, they implemented the female uh, three on three mm-hmm. game, and you guys uh, have a sister who's a world-class field hockey player, yeah, yeah, field hockey. and apparently she's the best athlete in the family. By yeah, far. I'm going to Virginia. She got one more year of high school going to Virginia. I'd love to see her in a pair of skates. So she's going to be a ca- is Cavalier? Cavalier. Yep. They got Cavalier. a great program there. They were in the Final Four last year, ACC. So That's sick. Yeah, she she's, got one more year of high school, then she goes. So she's. it was probably a lot of schools recruiting her. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was cool. It was a little different from the, the guys, yeah. you know. But uh, it was awesome. Another place that's tough to get to, like Calgary and Ottawa. But oh well, we'll make it work. <laughs> will Will she be attending uh, the game tonight with the females? Uh, is it tonight they're playing? No, tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Night. tomorrow night. Oh. Get your shit straight. Buddy. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. It's Thursday. Um, oh, actually, tonight's the alumni sure. game. Well, tonight's the game. That's, that's actually the only reason, reason I asked you guys the question. All, <laughs> that you guys was like, watch your toes. You guys all going? Yeah, unfortunately, we got to go for work. I just said that alone. Yeah, we'll be all. Well, guys, this is you guys got to get Bobby Plager on. He can tell some unbelievable stories. Oh, for you his guys. name's been brought up in five I'm telling you, this, this guy has it all about hiding in the locker room when the police were looking for him. Like it's out of the movie Slapshot. They were in huh. Philly one time. They couldn't find him. He was in the closet. <laughs> I swear to God, he's unbelievable. Awesome guy. You guys got to get him on. And I think we got to give props to your wife, Chantel, a mother of these boys. I mean, she's got to be prouder than you, no? Yeah, I'm not taking it. You guys go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I think I pour him. What's your problem? So she takes care of <laughs> <laughs> no, she's great. She, uh, you know, she does. She has four children, so you know, me included, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> we don't. We don't. She does everything for us. We do nothing. So it's great to have her. She loves her boys, and she'll do whatever it takes. She can be a pain in my ass, but whatever. She's awesome. I love her. <laughs> she's uh, she's so excited for like she's been running around the city trying to get everything ready. And the mayor, we're, right? We're, yeah, we're, we're having some people. We call and, her Julie McCoy yeah. from the Love Boat, the yeah. cruise director. <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> like seriously, Wait. when we go on trips. She has everything mapped out. Mm-hmm. Like it's, yeah, but it's imagine scary. if she didn't, you'd oh, be like, no, what do I do? Oh, crazy. bar's right there. <laughs> a feel, different island. We'd be all messed up. <laughs> you feel too luxury we're going to Cabo. No, we end up in the Bahamas. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> I thought we are going to Europe. <laughs> Turn the plane around. I need two luxury boxes for a regular season game. So I can imagine an all-star game in the hometown. The phone's probably ringing off the hook. But it's been a pleasure, boys. I'm uh, proud of you. I know your dad's proud. It's great having you on. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Guys. Guys. It was a blast. Thanks, also looking Susie. forward to the 29th, uh, Edmonton and Calgary. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Matt, there's Matthew Kachuk billboards. I'm sure you've I'm seen looking, those. I'm now. looking more forward to the alumni game than I see Biz. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my 29th yeah. oh, game. Oh, you like watching people tear their ACL? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Oh, no. no, 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 no. I, I got I, I to stride like Beaver. <laughs>